Hello and welcome to my room slash studio. <laughs> my name is Ram, in case you didn't know before. And these are all my pieces here in this space. This has been a long anticipated, let me say that, a long anticipated video that I've been working on. And I've been having thoughts of starting this channel for maybe two years now. This day in particular, I just decided to jump up and get right into recording. Just a little background before I get into everything, because this video just jumps right into me working on this piece. <laughs> I'm an artist, an image maker I like to call myself. That is a title I've given myself because it encompasses pretty much everything I do. If you're not familiar with me, which I know, some people who may come across this video aren't. I am a painter, I draw, I do photography, I'm a model. I went to design school at Parsons and now I'm practicing full-time artist. <laughs> and that's so wild for me to hear myself say. I mean, I've said it plenty times before to people, but in this context, it just feels so, so wild to say because I've, really worked my whole life to be here yeah okay i'm gonna just get into um <laughs> the video uh but i'm usually the type of person where i'll tell a person like closest to me in my circle that i'm gonna do something and then after that like it's activated i don't really continue telling people too many times before i do something like i just jump into doing it i've kind of always been that way and it's helped me with my creative process and it's helped me during manifestation processes as well um, just because you know I sometimes I get a little heady and I also feel like the evil eye is real yeah this I want to say is like the fourth video <laughs> that I actually have recorded and this one I just like as you can see I just jumped up set up my camera on my tripod because the thing is too I I've had the equipment. There was nothing stopping me from making this video or nothing stopping me from traversing this new journey outside of myself, which is a little embarrassing, I guess, but also like it's life. You can see here right now in this part, uh, I decided to show the inspiration that was that was used for the face. Um, this is just one of my older sketchbooks. This sketchbook, I want to say, is from college. Like, I made this, I made these pieces. You can see she's falling apart. <laughs> I made these pieces, um, like, ranging from, like, 2013, 2014 till, like, 2017, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, I had this drawing, this figure drawing. It was a contour figure drawing that I did. Um, no particular motto in mind. I think I was like loosely, re loosely referencing something. And so I went ahead and just used this. So yeah, I went ahead and I used that as the, as the image. And you can see me going ahead and sketching it onto my, um, canvas here. And since it was a black canvas, I was like, okay, I'm going to save myself some time and just, you know, go ahead and use my good old projector. I want to say too that this this one in particular this video here in particular is not a tutorial i I'm, I'm gonna speak about a little bit of my process along the way in relation to how this painting i made uh, parallels with this new energy that it took for me to make this video but this in no way is a full-on tutorial like you're watching me do my process literally making a painting from scratch but i want to save an in-depth tutorial for how i make a canvas and how i paint a canvas and how i pull inspiration and all that in another video and i i promise there will be more i had been feeling like this little ting of anxiety and sometimes for me like it takes for me to just make a checklist think about it write about it for a little bit like sometimes it's not even a full on 
thought that I'm writing, like it just is like little fragments of words or something to get me inspired to get up and do it. But yeah, I have wrote a little bit about this painting I had in mind, this piece that I wanted to make. So for this piece in particular, you know, I was like feeling a little bit of anxiety. I was feeling a little bit of darkness. Like, you know, I'm not afraid to admit that, you know, sometimes we as people, as humans, we experience a little bit of darkness. Like, you know, sometimes we need to sift through that and understand why or where it's stemming from and just move through it, you know? And so I was experiencing that and this piece came to mind. You know, I was like, I have never done a piece on a black canvas. You know, that got me to thinking. Like that got my mind wandering a little bit. I was like, you know, how would I go about making a piece on a black canvas? Like what colors would I use to complement that? What colors are matching the mood and the energy that I'm feeling right now? What, what type of imagery would adequately express like these thoughts that I'm feeling? Like these thoughts that I was like moving through, you know? And so, um, yeah, a reference for sure I was thinking of that immediately came to mind was Carrie James Marshall. And if anybody is familiar with art who's watching this video, you know that Carrie James Marshall, he works in particular with black figures like myself. Subject matter is all black. And what he does that's really special is that he paints his figures, his black subjects in black. Usually when I start my pieces, um, I start with a white canvas and then I start with a base of blue and then I go ahead and I sketch out my imagery with white pencil. So then my mind went to white too. I was like, you know, I can use white as the starkness of the lines, you know, because it's almost inverted when you're doing it with a black, you know, you're doing black lines on a white canvas. So I was like, the inversion of that is white lines on a black canvas. A lot of times in my process, I use warmer tones too. Like when I'm making faces, because I primarily paint black skin. I mean, I only paint black skin, honestly. I use, I noticed I use a lot of warmer colors. And so since I was already in an energy of like getting myself out of this comfort zone, like challenging myself to be a little more uncomfortable with this process of me making this painting and then me filming, I was like, I'm going to use cooler tones because that's something I'm not really doing a lot. Within my work, anyways, I seek to represent as many shades of brown, as many features within the, the diaspora of black features, of black faces. The, the combination is endless. So I'm always, always, always challenging myself to explore something else. And I was like, okay, people, there are black people with cool undertones. Like that's just a thing, like I know for a fact. I'm like not a stranger to makeup YouTube. I used to watch a lot of makeup videos. Like those, like they really helped me understand color theory a little bit deeper, especially when it comes to like the way color appears on skin, matching undertones and like color correcting. All that was so fun to watch. Like I feel like that was like a study outside of the school study I was doing. And it really, really helped me when I went to like paint faces, you know, in my work, I'm always, <laughs> I'm extra, I'm a Gemini, like I love piling on my drama, the extraness, if you will. So like the colors in my work, as you can see, are like very saturated, like they're, they reference life a little, like they reference realism a little, but I like to think it's almost like a some sense of hyper-realism attached to the color, for sure. The title I came up with was Reimagine New Ways Through. Sometime I will make a piece and it has a title initially, like sometime the title leads me to do what I do, like as far as the way the imagery is gonna go or the colors are gonna go or the energy or the aura of the piece. Or other times, you know, I'll make a piece and I won't really know what to name it until afterward. Like maybe I'll name it something closer to like the colors I used or like maybe if it was, you know, something in a song I heard, I'll remix a few lyrics or something if it has relation to it. As you can see, I went ahead and I made the figure's head open in a sense. The reference I had in mind was when you're like playing Sims and you know, you like are making your home and you have that, that webbed graph that is on the ground. I wanted to leave the mind open and in a sense it's open to exploration, open to new ideas open to, you know, 
new challenges, open to manifestation, you know, open to looking at things from a different perspective. Like that's the openness that I wanted to depict when I went ahead and did that web for the brain. Yeah, I wanted to depict this openness that this this figure has that I I am adapting to, that I am telling myself that I need to be open to, you know? I was saying before, this was a piece that really helped me in a few ways. The title was so fitting and it came at such a fitting time in my life. You know, colors have a whole, whole energy to them in themselves. Like they help depict a mood like no other, you know? Like when we're looking at colors, you know, color theory and all that, we can obviously like make our own narrative just from colors alone. And I'm someone who like, feels as though artists always like where am I going with this as artists we're working in the dark like we're working when no one is watching we're working when no one is validating we're working if nobody sees it you know we're working all the time we're working through our darknesses we're working to portray things that are dark sometime with some source of some sense of lightness to it I ended up doing this piece over the course of three days. And a lot of time when I'm working on a piece, I will start it and then I'll leave it to sit. And then sometime I'll just like add on to it later on, maybe like a days, weeks, or sometimes a month or sometimes years. I have some pieces that have sat for like two to three years that took me some time to come back to and to like finish the idea. I have learned to be patient with my poor, patient with the poor of my ideas, patient with myself and the flow of my ideas. Sometimes I think it's important for me to work on a piece and then put it down and like walk away and step away because I know it helps for me to have more internal research or for me to have more experiences to bring back to what I've been working on on the canvas. Like it helps to strengthen the practice. Now I'm, I'm the type of person where I don't mind sitting in the house by myself or being in the house for multiple days and just working on paintings. But at the same time, I'm learning that there needs to be balance in the studio and out of the studio, you know? With this piece in particular though, it was a bit different. And who knows, maybe I'll touch it again in some time after I look at it. But for me, this is really, is really special to share this with you guys. And I'm really proud of myself for <laughs> executing this in the time that I did and utilizing the sunlight. I'm really proud of myself. I'm not going to lie. There was more that I added on to it. Line work I did for the background. And I want to give you guys a chance to find me on Instagram. My Instagram link is going to be on here somewhere. Yeah, find me on all the socials. Follow me. You know, keep up with my work. This is going to be um, a new journey for me. I'm excited for y'all to, to follow along with it. Thank you for watching. I can say that. Thank you for watching. You know, leave a comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. And give me some feedback. I would say give me some open feedback to what you think about this piece or start a dialogue. I'm hoping for this channel to garner a community of people who like art, not just paintings, but I'm open to exploring on here. This is gonna be my new baby. I'm like using this platform as a chance to do a lot of exploration. Recording and editing is something that I'm definitely adding to my tool belt for 2022. So I'm happy to have this be the first um, installment of that, if you will. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's it. This is a wrap to this video. I'm gonna edit this sound, see what it gives. Yeah, I did my shit.